In this video tutorial, we'll go over the shared access and delegation of authority functionalities of MySepo patents. Shared access management is the online capability that will allow users to share access to their IP file information with users of the same office. As for delegation of authority, it's the capability of granting certain users with the necessary permissions to perform various tasks on behalf of one or all patent agents of an office. In the context of MySepo patents, an organization represents an external entity with one or many external users and one or many offices. An organization has a single SEPO finance system profile with zero or more deposit accounts. The organization will determine who is the payer. Deposit accounts and credit cards will be associated at the organization level. An office is a grouping of users and can represent a branch location of an organization. Every organization will have at least one office. The office will drive the entitlement rules to access some content not yet open to public inspection, the work in progress drafts, as well as the submission history, and will provide external users with the ability to select the agent they are working on behalf of. CPOT agent profiles may be associated to one or more organizations and offices by the MySepo administrators. Patent agents will not have to use the portal directly. External users are associated to one organization and one or more offices by the MySepo administrators. We invite you to pause the video to take a moment to review the information just presented. Let's look at the roles and permissions that could be granted to external users. MySepo administrators will be able to update the address of the organization and offices and maintain the list of patent agents associated with each office. Access managers will be able to grant or remove access to the organization and offices and manage permissions of other users with pre existing My Canada business accounts. Office members will be able to share work in progress and submission history with other users of the same offices, submit applications and submissions on behalf of a specific patent agent, and access applications not yet accessible to the public when all the agents of one of their offices have been appointed to these applications via MySepo patents. We'll go through each of the shared access and delegation of authority functionalities that will be available from the MySepo patents portal. We'll begin by logging into the portal using either a GC key or a sign-in partner. The login process is the same as with the existing electronic services. From the home page, click on the admin page button. From here, MySepo administrators will be able to update the address of the organization and of the offices and maintain the list of patent agents associated with each office. The My Organization table will display the organization that you are associated with. To change the address of the organization, click on the button under Actions, represented by a pencil. Make the necessary changes, and click on Save. The My Offices table will display the offices with which you are associated. To change the address of an office, first click on the button under Actions corresponding to the desired office, and on the next page, under the first table, click on the button under Actions, represented by a pencil. Make the necessary changes, and click on Save. Please note that changing the address of an office will not change the address on existing applications or patents. It will simply allow for auto-population of the address field for new applications. To change the address of an existing file, please send a submission to that effect to SIPO. The second table on this page displays the agents that are linked to the selected office. To add an agent, click on the Add CPOT Agent Profile button. From the drop-down menu, select an agent and click on Save. To delete an agent, click on the button under Actions, represented by a trash can, and click on OK. The link, click here, under the heading Add User to Office, will direct you to a page where you will be able to add or remove users linked to an office. From the MySepo Patents homepage, click on the Access My Profile button. We are now directed to the My Canada Business Account page. Under Shared Access and Permissions, click on View Resources. This brings us to the Shared Access and Permission screen. You will be able to see the organization and offices that you are associated with. A user can request access to a specific office or organization by clicking on Request Access. This will generate an email that will be sent to all access managers who will be able to grant access to the user. Prior to granting access to a user and associating them to an organization or an office, please validate their identity. 
Note that SIPO is not responsible for validating users' identity, nor of any misuse or unauthorized information disclosure. To grant access to a user and associate them to an office, we must first associate them to the organization. To do so, click on the organization, then on the Grant Access button, and select the account type. In this example, we'll select add an individual, enter the user's email address, and click on the search button represented by a magnifier. After associating the user with the organization, we need to associate them with the desired office. From the Shared Access and Permission screen, repeat the same steps, but this time from an office instead of the organization. To edit a user's permissions, from the Shared Access and Permissions screen, click on the organization, or office name that the user is associated with, and click the Edit Permissions link. On the next screen, make the necessary changes, and click on the Update Permissions button. To remove a user, Click on Remove User from this resource. Once you are done, you can close the tab or window in which your MyCanada business account is open. Only sign out if you won't be returning to the MySipo Patents portal. Stay tuned for more video tutorials to learn more about the various functionalities of MySipo Patents.